We are going to look at the latest, though, out of Guam. That's the U.S. territory of Guam, bracing for the wrath of Super Typhoon Mawar as the impacts are already being felt there. The president approving emergency declaration on Monday evening. And evacuation orders are already issued for coastal areas as well, as authorities there are urging residents to seek high ground and shelter in place on the island. The powerful storm is expected to make a direct hit with winds equivalent in strength to a Category 4 hurricane. Fox Weather's Will Nunley has more details on how people are actually preparing for this major storm. Will, a sad story here. We have to really keep a close eye on the forecast. What's the latest? Kiana, indeed, this is a powerful storm. It's worth reiterating what you just said there. If we were talking about this as an Atlantic storm heading towards the mainland, this would be a high-end Category 4. That is a lot of force that has its sight set on for Guam and surrounding islands. Let's show you some of the latest video in here to the Fox Weather Newsroom. And we have conditions continuing to deteriorate there overnight. It is already Wednesday in Guam. It's 2 uh, something in the morning there. And so they have a lot of folks going through a sleepless night at this point. We've heard from some of our contacts there on the ground. They're doing their best to try to rest up to really uh, be there as this thing rolls uh, on shore tomorrow. But it's hard to go to sleep when you have so much uh, of these conditions starting to change around you. We have folks that have been evacuating now uh, for at least the past couple of days as they've been able to, and now it's time to really shelter in place. So we understand from our context there, especially with the U.S. military, that's, that's what a lot of the thousands of U.S. servicemen and women that are stationed right there are doing at this hour. We're told that a lot of the buildings that are in the path of this, including our military installations, are fortified somewhat to be able to deal with this, but it is still a very significant threat nonetheless. I had the chance to speak uh, with a member of the Joint Command there, uh, Rear Admiral Nicholson, and here's how he describes conditions right now. Uh, we have our uh, team stood up. We're in close coordination with the, uh, the government of Guam, uh, and we do everything in conjunction with each other. Uh, we've seen uh, rapid intensification of the storm over the last 48 hours. We're watching the track closely, also doing uh, you know, storm shutters, sandbags, these sort of things. Uh, to prepare for the uh, the wind and uh, and any flooding that might happen, and at the same time, uh, we're posturing ourselves to be able to support civil authorities here uh, through uh, our relationship with uh, the government of Guam. We're also tracking some of the buoys in the area that are recording waves in excess of 30 feet right now. Again, a lot of power wrapped up in this storm. The time really for trying to catch a flight out of the area may have passed at this point as conditions are worsening in the area. So this is going to be a lot to watch here over the next 24 to 36 hours, Keon. And certainly we're thinking of all of our citizens there in that area. And we're going to keep close tabs on this for you. Kiana. Absolutely. Well, Nunley, thank you so much. Definitely keeping a close eye on Guam over the next couple of days and even hours. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.